Hi, this is Mike at Siren Audio. This video is an accompaniment to the Generative 2 Quick Start Guide. The aim of the guide is just to get you up and running with the application and that's what we're going to try and do in this video. So if you're on Windows, you can be on XP, Vista, Windows 7 or 8 and it's recommended to have 4GB of RAM and an ASIO compatible sound card. If you're on Windows and you don't have an ASIO compatible sound card, I would recommend using the ASIO for all driver which is a free audio driver for Windows which solves a lot of problems that people have with the uh, getting the application running. So you will need Java installed if you're on Windows and it's uh, recommended to have the latest version of Java. If you're on Mac you can have a PowerPC or Intel machine uh, with OS X 10.4.11 or later and 4GB of RAM. Uh, Mac users will need a specific package of Java installed, which is Java 6. I'll include a link to all these relative uh, downloads in the description. So once you have uh, downloaded the application, it's it's ready to go. You don't need to use an installer um, or anything like that. So the first setting you want to uh, set is the audio driver. and You can do that by clicking the settings menu then selecting DSP which is the first uh, entry in the list and then from the driver menu selecting your audio driver if you're on Windows there are a couple of other drivers that you will uh, that you can't see here because I'm on Mac that's the add underscore MME and add underscore direct sound uh, you can try these drivers out and see how they work um, However, I'd, I'd still recommend using the ASIO for all driver if you're having any, any particular problems. Uh, some other settings to be aware of are the vector sizes and the sampling rate. Generally, I'd recommend leaving these uh, as they are, though you can use higher sampling rates, but this will increase the CPU usage. So once you've set the uh, driver, just turn the audio off and on again. Um, you may need to restart the application, so just just if you're not getting any any sound out straight away, uh, try restarting the application and see how, how that goes. Um, we're just going to deal with the the file um, playback system here that you can use an external input if you want, like a, a guitar or or anything that plugs into your interface. But we'll, we'll just do the file for this uh, demonstration. So if you click the file button, you can select a an audio file from your um, machine and if we click play at the moment I've already um, I've already got some some uh, synthesis going on here but this is the the input audio this is just some uh, guitar harmonics so there's two ways of um, of, of of getting the the audio, the the application to make um, the the granular synthesis from here, you can analyze this particular um, bit of audio, which will just play the the audio and look for peaks in the audio file. Um, so so amplitude peaks in the audio, and it will define playback positions for the for the granular synthesis uh, based on these peaks. So now you can see um, the playback positions or playheads, as I as I call them, um, moving around in in this in this analysed audio. So that's one way of doing it. If if this is a little bit unreliable, it, it may be because you don't have a lot of of amplitude um, variation in in the audio. So it's it's. It's generally used for for sounds that that do um, that do have that amplitude variation. But if it, if your sample doesn't, then you can just use the copy selection button, which is in the the top right hand um, area of the of the waveform display, and that will copy the audio that you've selected and create some random random segments. So you can see that we've got. Uh, six segments here, and if I click the copy selection, you'll see that there are now 25 different different segments. So this will this will vary the the audio output slightly. Um, this will change the 
give give the playback positions more more areas to fade to fade between. So there are four different devices. You can, as you can see, there are four different playheads. Um, each device has a number of um, segments that it will fade between, and you can you can show these using the show menu here. So this is the the segments for the the first playhead, which is is this one here. Each, each granular device can have um, a pitch setting and also a filter setting. So you can set the pitch by clicking on the um, device selection uh, tab here to select the different devices. And then you can change um, you can change the pitch either by clicking on this on this slider here. Where you can set pitches that are not uh, relative to the western western scale, so frequencies in between in between these ratios, or you can use the keyboard to um, set the set the pitch. You can also set the global tuning, so that's that will change the um, it w that will change the the overall tuning whilst keeping the ratio between the the devices the same. Create some really interesting, um, interesting pitch sounds, and this these can also be set via MIDI. Uh, I won't go into that in this video, but there's there's lots of different things that you can do in that respect. Um, so changing the filter, you can click on the filter tab, and that will show um, the filter for that for that specific. So you can have four different filter um, filter settings. So for so an, in, an independent filter for each each device, which allows you to create some really interesting uh, combinations of, of filters. And you can also use a, an output filter as well. So if you can see, this is a little um, something to be aware of. With the application, if I click the filter here, I will see the device filter. Whereas if I've selected a, a parametric filter for the output filter, this is the output section um, just on the top right. This filter will be applied to all of the um, all of the the outputs um, after they've been grouped together. And so you'll have a, a number of different filter settings, and then a final output. Filter. So that's that's it. Just to get you, just to get you up and running, get some sound coming out. Generally, these are the types of sounds that the application um, can produce, and it will just just do its thing indefinitely. There's a number of different internal states which the application fades between, which will change some of the. Um, the, the granular synthesis parameters and also how quickly these these um, playback positions will fade fade between between the different areas. Um, so how to get the best from the application? Generally, I use um, solo instruments and voice. Um, the reason for this is because the granular synthesis really thickens out any audio that you put into it, so it will it will detune some. Some voices, um, so you can have quite a, a simple audio input and produce this really quite rich um, variation of it on the output. Though you, you, so I wouldn't recommend recommend having a full um, composition with drums and, and bass and lots of other things. Though you can try it out if you like. Generally, I find it doesn't work. Um, as well, using that that material. So something to be aware of with this application, and also with the feedback application, is the sample based. It's all about the samples that you put into it. Um, it's not a, it's not a synthesizer as such, where it will create a, a sound on its own. It's all to do with the the samples that you that you use. Um, so samples without transients. There are some transients in this file, but um, that we're that we're listening to. But they're not um, the same as, as drum hits, for example. So if you put a drum solo into the application, it won't it won't sound as, as nice as this, um, in my opinion. 
um, and also samples that don't change key. So that that means that you could be if you have a sample that, that has a number of different key changes in it, what will what will probably happen is these playback positions will um, be in in different different parts of the file, therefore in different keys, and you'll have a bit of a clash of of sounds. So um, be aware of that as well. So yeah, that's it for the uh, quick start guide. If you've got any problems uh, getting the application running, just give me an email at mike at sirenaudio.co.uk.